So it was kind of a weird experience and not, I don't think it's an experience we'd like to do again. Mini mansions. Um, Michael, yes. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I think you grew up with Zach, right? Mm -hmm. um, when did the two of you meet? Do you still recall your first meeting? I first met him when he was in a band called Wires on Fire. And I was roommates with Zach in Santa Cruz. And then... Uh, what did you think of his band? They were awesome. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I loved it. That was the first time I ever saw you guys, actually. Yeah, sick. I guess yeah, we, sick. we used to come up and tour, yeah, tour there and, and we'd stay in their dorm and I think, yeah, met, met Tyler by just going up there and hanging out when we were like 18, 19. And then, but didn't really like meet again, I guess, until, until we started the band, really. Um, and Zach is, I guess, the middleman between us and um, kind of shared each other's music with each other. With, <laughs> shared, each other. <laughs> shared each other's music. Um, yeah, but just kind of, I guess, gave a few songs to him of mine and a few songs of his to me. And and I, and I was like, Zach, tell Michael like that I really like his songs. And I said the same. Yeah. What songs were there? Are there, are there songs that are now uh, on the Mini Mages album? No, I never heard, no, I don't think any of those. Those were, those were a little too old. Those were kind of like high school songs. I don't think we chose any of those for the for mini mansions. Well, the, well, like Magic Marker. And stuff. I never heard Magic Marker. Oh. Uh, or like uh, uh, nope. Not even kites. Nope. No. Yeah. It was like he had some songs that sounded like T Rex, and I was and I just was really into it. That's what I remember. And his songs, what were his his songs like? Uh, more like Tom Waits, I, or at least like those the ones. early stuff. I remember thinking that it was a lot like Tom Waits. Uh, yeah. It was and, cool. And when, when is the, well, the actual beginning point of, of, of the Mini Mansions, do you still recall? What's that? Say that one uh, the, the starting point of the Mini Mansions, do you still recall what, well, what was the first conversation that you actually talked about, well, hey, let's start a band? I remember distinctly, actually. Yeah, but you, he doesn't. <laughs> He's a terrible memory. Yeah. Um, we were at uh, our friend's birthday party, and he had just moved to LA. He's from Long Beach, so. He had just moved to LA and, and we were just talking like, hey, you know, what are you doing in LA? And he was like, nothing at all. Nothing. Um, so, and, and I'd always, like we were talking about going back to Santa Cruz, I'd always wanted to do something musically with Tyler if I could. Um, and so we just, and I, I had, I was doing nothing, just kind of writing songs and not playing. Um, and we just, just talked about you know, doing stuff together, and that was that was kind of it. Um, we met, and then we went and hung out in my bedroom, and and went over like <laughs> with like two guitars, and and went over a few ideas. And that was like the first like I guess writing session or practice. What was the first song that you wrote together? Um, I don't even know what it was called, but we we don't even play it. I feel like it was uh, Wonder Bars because that was like the first one that we did on the organ. That we were working out. Oh yeah, once we yeah we went to the rehearsal space yeah and there was this and we just laid the, all we had at that point we were we were still working out like the percussive sit situation, and I was just using this like you know kind of shitty organ, and I would just hit the beat for they had one of those like basic beats on it, and then we just kind of wrote us built a, a really simple song which was Wonder Bars. We actually yeah and then we well we recorded it to loop it with just with a really shitty mic like a Radio Shack mic and put it up to it and yeah that's that right. ended up it, it's. Is still the beat on the record. Yeah. It's the same recording from a shitty mic that we ended up using like a year and a half later. Cause we, yeah, that just, is crazy. Just because we got used to it, I guess. You know, it does. There's no like. You can even hear like a little bit of the feedback from the mic that when we put the mic up to the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's clicky. That, that, that's creating a, a unique sound. So that's that's. Yeah. Exactly. Like we, it was so unique that like we couldn't, you couldn't replicate it, yeah. no matter what. We didn't know what you know. It was a terrible mic, terrible organ, probably broken. You know, but it just sounded cool.